guys, welcome and welcome if you are new. This is Katie and today we are going to just pick up clean and get a lot of things decluttered and organized. So I am going to start in the kitchen and work my way through the apartment today. So we're going to start in the kitchen like I said and we're going to just get the dishes done and I'm going to wipe up the kitchen and then I am going to work my way back to the second bedroom today and we're going to reorganize my makeup and just clean up some areas that I feel like are super cluttered. If any of you caught my last video on my Amazon haul where I talked about these new utensils that I got, the spoons and forks and knives, they actually wash really super great. I am wiping them off. They do not spot. I thought maybe because they were so dark they would spot, but they're not spotting. So I used to really not like to hand wash dishes just because it was time consuming, but more lately I find that it's just, I get a few minutes to myself just to either think about things and kind of decompress even from the day. So just a few things that I hand wash, like the cat bowls and just some of our other utensils that I don't want to stick in the dishwasher, like the new wooden handle ones that I also shared in my last video. Um, I don't put anything wooden in the dishwasher just so it doesn't warp it, but that's just my time, just quiet time to myself to be able to light a candle and just wipe everything off and just kind of decompress for the day. If you guys have any other ways that you guys decompress, I would love to hear about that in the comments below. Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me, wrapped up nice and neat, baby. So I just got these new containers for the counter. I had bought some chia seeds, some oats, and some quinoa, and I wanted to leave them out on the counter because I do use them every night. Before I go to bed, I make my um, oatmeal, my overnight oats, and put them in the refrigerator before I go to bed. But I was thinking, because we do keep the greens out on the counter that we use, those are like probiotics and prebiotics um, in there. So I went ahead and just put the rest of what was left in that container in the smaller container on the counter. And then I just threw away that plastic container. But I wanted to be able to keep it out on the counter and it look a little bit nicer. So that's what I did with that. I am going to make my own labels in another video. And I am going to show you guys how the silhouette works. Because I know it's been a long time since I talked about my silhouette. But I wanted to go over that again. I don't watch a lot of, or I don't watch. I just have it on as background noise. One, because my friend here she um <laughs> likes to bark and obviously we're in an apartment so just to kind of keep the noise in here because i'll sit in here and just like quiet but i have to have something going in the background so that she doesn't hear every noise and bark at everybody but there's a ton of things in here there's like hot harry potter stuff there's the witcher is new um pirates of the caribbean i do a lot of the disney and the um i like the lord of the rings too it's pretty good oh i didn't know they had Spider-Man, there's a ton. So I'm gonna pick one of these real quick and then I'm gonna walk lady and then I'm gonna start cleaning. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this is my favorite thing. You can be snowing here. Um, and by snowing, I mean it's like sleeting like ice. It's cold darn anyway so my look like a 
hot mess, but that's fine. Um, that's more often than not at this point in my life. Anyway, so today I'm just going to clean up. Um, we're going to clean up this like area back here behind me. So I've got some like thoughts in my head because whenever I get ready in the morning, let me show you guys like our bedroom in our bathroom situation. Master bath bedroom is <laughs> I'm washing the sheets and the cat is currently in his spot, my spot. Every time I leave the bed, he like runs to my spot. <laughs> the bed is literally on top of the closet door. And of course I go in and out in the morning because I've got to give the cat his shots and all that stuff. So what I'm thinking about doing is um, taking my makeup out of this closet, like this stuff here that I use, and then my hair stuff here, and taking it into the second bedroom. So let me take you guys in there to show you um, kind of like what I'm thinking about doing in there because I'm trying to give Justin a few more hours of sleep without me like opening and closing the door all the time and the animals being in and out of there and it's just I feel bad because I got to come in and out of the bedroom close the door because I get up at least at the absolute latest by 5 5 30 in the morning so um so I can start taking care of the animals and that kind of stuff and then um so I, I'm in and out of there from like five to at least seven ish, seven thirty before I leave for work in the morning. Um, so let me show you what I'm thinking. Excuse this mess. I need to take that to the dry cleaner, but I need to find a dry cleaner. <laughs> I need to hang that stuff up today. I have laundry in the dr the wash machine that I need to hang up. And oh my gosh, guys, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. My last video, like my I think it was my last cleaning video. Like, when I put this bed skirt on here, I knew this is what was going to happen. So, I've got to decide. And it's just, like, right through here. And she does it. She's doing it right now. Girl, <laughs> what are you doing? She comes in. She rubs all the way across it. Just like that. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you that way? Why? It's like a cat in a scratching post. You silly puppy. You silly puppy. Are you silly puppy? I know, but you're getting dirty. And then mommy has to clean it. That's so silly. That's silly, puppy. Get a puppy. Ow! What? Ow! What? Ow! 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 <laughs> so anyway, she's crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. Ow! Go get a baby. You want to go get your babies? Are you going to go get your babies? Go get a baby. Where's your babies? Your babies are out there. Go get them. Go get your baby. Let's go get them. Where's your babies? Can you show me? Can you show me where your babies are? There's a baby. Did you get a baby? Ah! <gasps> That's your baby. Is that your new one? Are you showing everybody your new baby? It's a hoof? Yeah? Ah! I know. You get that your baby. Ah! I know. Ah! I know. It's okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, puppy. You're funny. I'm probably going to clean up that mess um, oh. down there. I'm going to figure out what to do with these clothes. I may just put them in the living room and try to find a dry cleaner tomorrow. No, Tuesday, because tomorrow's a holiday. Um, we're going to hang that up. This is where I'm thinking about putting all my makeup stuff and getting ready in here. You're crazy. <laughs> She's so funny. She's such a funny dog. But I think what I'm going to do is clean out all these drawers, take everything out of the drawers. I'm going to file stuff in my little file things down here. And then I'm going to utilize these drawers more for makeup and getting ready in here. I did order a mirror on Amazon today. So that'll be here, I think, in two days. So I'll show you guys that when I get there. Because I was like, oh yeah, I'll move my makeup in here. But I'm like, you don't have a mirror. <laughs> How are you going to get ready? I have a little travel mirror that it will work for the next couple of days. It's fine. Or I just won't put makeup on. It's fine. Um, but I'm going to move everything in here and get that cleaned up. So that I can just come back here. And then maybe just utilize... I don't want to get ready in this bathroom because it's where the cat box is and I still haven't returned the big cat box yet, but I have to do that like within the next I couple days. I have to return that cat box in like the next couple days. So I've got to call. I'm going to try to call today and see if I can get a return number for it or whatever and then schedule a pickup for it um, to get that out of there because that'll like free up some space in there, which would be nice. Um, I even thought about just using that bathroom, but I don't want two bathrooms to clean in all seriousness like fully clean those bathtubs are huge. The bathtubs here are huge. Um, I don't mind cleaning, you know, the floor or the toilet or the sink, but I hate cleaning bathtubs. Like I literally hate cleaning bathtubs. Oopsie. And then I'm trying to decide if I move this screen into this bedroom over here or if I don't move it in there. 
Um, I kind of like to sit out here when Justin's like sitting on the couch. I can sit out here and I can edit. I can work and do work work. I just, I feel like there's just stuff everywhere right now and I'm starting to lose my mind. So I'm gonna start with laundry. I've already started laundry and I just need to move the one load to the dryer and then I'm gonna go grab, um, oh, actually the sheets, I put the sheets in there already. They're on top of the wash machine. So I'm gonna put those in the wash machine and start that. Go so here and clean out all the drawers. So I kind of like know what the drawer space is and then I'll start bringing the makeup and stuff in from the other bathroom and bring it into this room. Um, and then I'm gonna put this chair that sits right here um, <laughs> at the desk. There's a desk over here. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that yet so far. There's a, a desk. That's where Justin's desk is right there. It's kind of nice, there's cabinets. That chair, I'm gonna move into this front bedroom. So when I sit down and do my makeup, I'll do that. But we'll probably just move the chair back and forth. My mom actually has two chairs that I need to bring here. We just didn't have enough room in my little baby SUV um, to bring those back with us um, from Indiana. So the next time I drive up to Indiana, I'm gonna make sure that I leave enough room for those two chairs. And then I'll have a chair for in that room and then I'll probably get rid of that chair because it is so uncomfortable and then put that other um, chair. She called it something. What are those chairs called? I don't remember. Anyway, my mom had a term for these chairs. It looks just like that one, but they're like better quality than that is. Um, that I randomly found, I think at like a Steinmart like years ago and just bought it because it was on sale and I needed a chair. So <laughs> bought that one. It is very uncomfortable. It has like no like cushion to the behind of it. Like it's horrible, but anyway. Quit talking, let's go clean. together on how I wanted to organize them. So I have a pile of like cards that were given to me. I have a pile of like vacation things that I've brought home. Um, I put all the pens together, notebooks, all the technology stuff that I have like chargers and all those kind of things. So I would recommend if you start cleaning out drawers or cleaning out closets, just make piles of things that are like to like. So put everything together. It makes it easier to organize once you go to put things either back in the drawer, back in the closet, or if you need to put things into separate containers. with notebooks. <laughs> so I am using Pledge on the desk today. I use my Grove window cleaner a lot on it, but I wanted, I love the smell of this allergen Pledge. So I went ahead and I just wiped out all the drawers of this before I started putting things back in. Now the heavier things I'm gonna keep towards the bottom just because even though these drawers are built pretty like sturdy, I just in my mind think that heavier things need to be at the bottom. So I am going to keep notebooks and more of my like silhouette and my card making items down in those bottom three drawers. Show you what a good time looks like You can't do better So 
to go through everything and get everything organized. I did organize before we left, but since we've left, all I've done is just pile things back in this room and just thought, hey, I'll get to it later. Well, it's the beginning of the year. I have a ton of stuff from our move and from Missouri still that like we still had to go through. I had to register one of the cars and it, it just all the paperwork. So here I'm just writing on top of that folder everything that I like paid for still for Missouri and then kept that in one folder. So if I have to go back and revisit that, then I can pull that from that specific folder and I know exactly what's inside of that folder. But then I wanted to get all these other things filed. We've had like a million vet appointments and stuff like that. So I just love to go through and get rid of paper. It just, it starts to pile up and it stresses me out a little bit. Um, I would love to know also if you guys like file stuff like this or how you guys file and keep track of everything. I do at the end of the year go through my files, make sure that they're appropriate. Usually around tax time too, I'll go through them also. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out sun is shining but the rain is welcome too friends are nearby don't need another view time is not on my mind but then it's here oh i love it when the love comes around and then i remember all things must pass but i'm not gonna wake up wake up i'm not ready let me have another day don't wait Cause I'm happy, I'm not going away No, no, not yet Whoa, no, not yet Whoa, no, no, not yet Whoa So I'm going to start by starting at the bottom of this drawer down here And I'm putting all of my, what I would call technology things into this drawer So any of my chargers, my external hard drive Any extra cubes that we have My external charger um, also, I stuck down in that drawer, so everything's together. I know where everything is. I also have a couple extra like protectors for my Mac there. I'm just sticking those back down in there also. And then we are going to move on and bring the makeup into this second bedroom. On my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around and then I remember all things must pass. But I'm not gonna wake up. Wake up, I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy, I'm not gonna wake up So this is what the desk looks like right now. I did um, put my screen over. I moved over the um, like cable box thing, so I have more room over there. And my makeup actually isn't taking up too much room, so my little mirror is gonna fit perfect, like right here. I'm gonna put the other mirror either back with my travel stuff or just down in one of these drawers. That's my travel mirror that I take um, everywhere with me whenever I go, like on vacation. It's small, it travels well. Let me see if it's charged. I don't even know if it's charged. Yeah, so that's my little travel mirror. I take it everywhere. It's disgusting right now because I just keep shoving it in my makeup holder thingy here. 
Um, I'll link this one down below for you if you're interested. Like I said, it's not very big. It's like, let me get down here. It's like the size of my hand, but um, I don't know. It does dim. Um, a lot of them on Amazon that you'll see do dim like that, and that one does dim or just goes off, and that's the brightest. Um, that's that. You can charge it by the little USB charger, or you can have batteries in it. I've got batteries in mine now. Um, I did use to just charge it with this thing. There's a little charger and you just plug it in. But it's a tiny cord, so obviously you can't um, go far from your charger. Like it can't hang off a wall. Most of the time when I'm traveling, I just have it hooked up to my battery pack. Like I have my phone right now. <laughs> um, but this battery pack is awesome. I've had it forever. Um, I take it with me when I travel. I take it with me when we just go anywhere basically. So I've got all my makeups that I use. These are all like my go-tos every single day. Basically, I just like these all to be on top. And then there's some things down in here that I use that are just, you know, my daily, my daily things. So I figured I'd just keep all that on the countertop here. And then in this top drawer, I brought all my like larger makeup erasers. So my Disney video that I just did, I talked about the small little new makeup erasers that I got, the princess ones. These are the larger ones. So these are pretty big. I got these these on Amazon. Um, they're all pretty big and like I really like them, but they're huge. And so when you get them wet, they're huge. But like I said, I really, really like those. I kind of joked around a couple times I was going to cut them and make them smaller, but it was a five pack that I got on Amazon. Um, so those are my larger ones. This one I actually got on the Grove and they're they're just the same because I had gotten this one for free with my order on the Grove. So I went ahead and bought this five pack just to kind of compare to see if they were the same. They're the exact same. They work the exact same. They're, they wash the exact same. I've had them probably, I'd say two, three years at this point and they're clean. Like these things, I don't know what it is, but they come clean. There's no makeup on these things like at all that is probably eyelash glue which i do try to not get on things <laughs> that's probably eyelash glue don't get eyelash glue on things on your towels and then try to wash them off always wipe off your eyelash glue with like a piece of toilet paper or a paper towel it is way better to do it that way so and then this i went and looked underneath the sink <laughs> i have way i have more brushes down here um, that I just don't use or just most of the time I keep a lot of these extra brushes for like any Halloween makeup and stuff that we do so keep that in there and then this drawer I just put my hair blow dryer and my straightening iron and my brush I don't don't brush my hair wet I just use my comb so I put that back in the other bathroom and then this drawer is the palettes that I use are in this drawer like I, I these are my go-to grab palettes I put some makeup wipes in here just in case I need to wipe my hands and then I've got my all my highlighters, and then below that I've got a bunch of like ColourPop um, eyeshadows, which they're like these. They're in these little um, these little jars, and there's a bunch of them down in that bottom drawer down there. Um, I don't I don't use them all the time, so I didn't figure they need to be up, but at least I know where they're at. These are bronzers and highlighters, actually, what's in there. So that's that. And then I put some Q-tips and some cotton swabs, cotton balls in there, and then down here. <laughs> I found more palettes of mine that I have that were underneath the sink in the other bathroom and then some extra powders that I have just like a little bit of, I just don't want to throw them away yet. And then some extra um, sponges and then another little egg holder for my sponges. And then that's all I did on this side. This drawer I think is empty, I think. Nope. Nope, this is like my technology stuff because it's heavy so I wanted to keep it down at the bottom. So that's that on that side. This side, this top drawer is just all of my like personal stuff that I'm working on and then I'm just gonna store my keyboard in this drawer until I need it if I don't wanna use my laptop keyboard. Um, sometimes I don't like to be that close to my laptop and my screens. This drawer is empty, which is surprising. These are just all of my notebooks. I have a notebook problem. Every time I go to Dollar Tree, I seem to buy a notebook and I'm crazy. So notebooks that I'm not actively using and then this drawer is all of my pens. So I do put all of my pens by, like these are all my new highlighters. These are awesome highlighters, by the way. I'll link these down below too, because I think I got a pretty good deal on all these highlighters. I think they were like $6.99 a pack, um, but I love these. They don't bleed through on my bullet journal up here. 
Um, so I really do like those, but I keep everything in these Ziploc bags because I can see through them and they're cute. And I keep every, all the markers that are the same are in this one. These are my Crayola markers. Those are all in there. Like I said, I just, I organize things by how they are. So back there too, these are all Sharpies, the colored Sharpies. And then in this one, it's just some rando pens that I have that I've gotten. So I, I, a couple months ago, bought a bunch of pens from Dollar Tree just to try them out in my bullet journal, just to see and compare to see if they bled through or not. And here I just put a bunch of office stuff. Like I have stickers and tabs, post-its, <laughs> the clamp I actually use on books. Um, I got that idea from Bailey Sarian, if any of you watch her. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. I absolutely freaking love her. But she clipped her book with a little clamp, and I'm like, that's actually genius to hold back a book. Um, my scissors are in there, and then any, like, clips or paper clips that I've got are in there. I got these at Dollar Tree. They have some cute colors right now. I've got that and, like, a teal and a gray. Down here is just all my, like, scrapbooking. I call it scrapbooking, but, like, I make, um, like, Christmas cards and stuff. Like, all my card making things are down here and then down under here is where I keep my personal files here and all my vinyls and then more of my card making things are in here and then contact paper my trash cans up there um this file right here I actually keep like personal like trip pictures and brochures and stuff like that wherever we've been I file them by trip in there uh, I don't make it real fancy or anything I just literally stick it in a um, either like a plastic folder. I got these at Dollar Tree. I think they're a two pack, um, for these like folder binder things, but I put a bunch of the pictures in these. So they're, I know where they are and I don't have to have a bunch of scrapbooks around until I can like sit down and figure that situation out. Cause I'm not really a scrapbooker. So that's that. I got the clothes picked up. I'm going to try to clean around here right now. Cause it's horrible but she's laying down here right now i may not do that right now so i may wait to do that until maybe tomorrow or something but i'm gonna go show you the other bathroom and show you what i did in there right now okay so this other bathroom <laughs> we actually do have a lot of space in here so i <laughs> just pulled this basket down forgot we had sheets in there like i totally forgot i had an extra pair of sheets for the our bed in here in there i'm losing my mind <laughs> So I just pulled, I love these two containers. I wish they would have had more. These are the last two they had. I got them at Hobby Lobby and I absolutely love them. I think they're so pretty. Um, I just put some like rando stuff in here that I do use actively, like my waxing strips and uh, my lint remover. I love this guy. He's great. Um, and then my things that I use to wash my makeup brushes, which I obviously need. This is my extra hairball dryer, one of them. I keep an extra hairball dryer, just a regular hairball dryer and two curling irons down in here. Just like old school, like curling irons. I keep another straightening iron and another hairball dryer in that front bathroom, just in case we have company and they need one. So in here I have my nail, like some of my nail stuff. I just got this dip powder kit on Amazon. It's great. I'll link it down there. I think it was like 21 bucks for like all of these colors. And you can pick different packages that you can pick different colors that you get. So, so it was so easy. It did take a little time, but it's, it's staying on. And I don't like to paint my nails myself because it comes off so fast. This is just a little bucket of my nighttime, like washing my face. There's those magic erasers that I was talking about. The little ones there and there, my hair stuff that I would pull my hair back with. If I needed to, um, I did keep all of my hair supplies in here that are, I put on my hair when it's wet. So I didn't put any of that stuff back in there. I did put some dry shampoo and some sea salt spray and my hairspray back in the other bedroom, but everything else I just kept in here. And as you can see, you guys, I'm telling you, I love lounge. I, that's all I use on my hair. Like I, that's all I use. I'll link my last video down below. My only video I need to do like, a how it's going now video kind of thing with launch because I have been using it for two years now and I absolutely love it. Um, this is just like a medicine bucket that we've got of like <laughs> rando medicines. Um, and then this is Justin's little bucket and that's my little bucket of just like toothpaste and our um, Q-tips and stuff like that. Down here is our bathroom towels, hand towels. I store toilet paper and paper towel down there. 
But then when I was, when I was cleaning that out, I got down here underneath the sink because I started moving things around a little bit. So down here is where I keep my nail polish, my sunblock, my travel stuff, my aloe and sunblock bug spray, and then any of our extra medicines. This is how I used to store stuff in that big closet that we had in our hallway at the house. So that's kind of my side of stuff right now. Like I said, I, these are the extra launch products that I'm not really using right now. Um, I sometimes back stock it, so that's just kind of down there for right now. And then I'm probably going to figure out a way to get that stuff into that closet back there. But then this side, I've got like extra toothpaste and stuff in there and toothbrushes and Q-tips. And I found another thing of cotton balls, so I have plenty. I have two bags. I have one in one of those boxes, but... Um, so yeah, that's what I've done so far. I really wanted to get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, watching my videos, and sticking with me through all the changes and all the transitions that I've gone through in the past like year. And I really, really do appreciate it. I just want you guys to know that. Um, so I'm gonna finish this video with making the bed finally today. It is probably close to 10 p.m. right now and I am finally gonna get the bed made but I wanted you guys to see like really like real life bed making again so I am literally making the bed around the dog my animals are so good they'll just kind of move to the other side and they're fine with it and here in a second lady she does not want to move and it I just you know you just have to work around them Just so you guys know, I'm not making this bed to look perfect. I'm literally making this bed to go to bed. Um, so once I get both comforters on, I do on Justin's side. I am gonna go ahead and put a blanket over there for right now, cause he's out of town. So they usually will sleep over on that side. So to keep the comforter cleaner longer, I will put a blanket cause it's easier to wash that blanket than it is to wash both comforters. So that's why I did stick that blanket on that side. I also thought that I moved the staircase that I have away far enough from the bed right there, but the cat was determined to get up on that bed. That cat is 18 years old and he got up on that staircase and he jumped. There was probably a good foot between the bed and that staircase, but he was on a mission and he got up there, whether I wanted him to or not. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, liking, and subscribing. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Listen to me as I say.